Uh, there is no door. You jump in it. It's like Dukes of Hazard. I jump in and out of that car. It's my own personal car. Right. She fought fantasy battles as a warrior princess. Now she's battling to save the planet. She is, of course, Lucy Lawless, and she's the perfect person to kick off our new segment, Driver's Seat. Good morning, Lucy. Hi, Ollie. How are you? Good. Now, can I ask the first thing? Where did Lawless come from? I got married to a chap called Garth Lawless. It was his name, so uh, it was from my first marriage. Really? Because people think that it's like a Made name up. you created. I know. I, I couldn't have thought of something... Because it's a so great movie. movie. It is. It is. It's a little bit porn starry, you know. Linda Lovelace, Lucy Lawless, but um, it's a good name. Because wasn't Kevin Smith, wasn't he a Lawless in the New Zealand TV show? I don't know. He was like... Oh, that's right. The, oh, yeah. He was like, you know, renegade, uh, that's right. detective guy, our version high of Magnum P.I. High point of his career. It was a high point of his career, that's right. Um, let's talk about the sign-on campaign. Why are you so passionate about this? Because you, you seem to be incredibly uh, supportive of it. I am, because I believe that the, sci the science, scientists say we need to cut down on carbon emissions by 40% by 2020. And um, I tend to believe all those scientists. <laughs> and um, I don't, there's not a lot of political will out there. You know, factories don't want to change themselves. So we really need to uh, get all our, our policy makers and, and get our business in line with a yeah. changing environment. We need to get our, our homes and our habits in line with a changing environment. Do you think it's important to, to use your fame, your celebrity, to promote causes like this? Do I think it's important? I don't know. There's plenty of people who don't, and they seem to live perfectly happy <laughs> lives, you know. But um, i got to say, I enjoy it. I believe in it. I really like the people that I'm working with. Um, so I'm, I, I don't have a big uh, cross on my back about it, you know. It's... it's it, being part of something sustainable and being part of that mindset is incredibly enjoyable mm. and uh, life-affirming, and being part of the problem is completely the opposite. So why wouldn't you choose life? All right, now, Xena was obviously a, a huge hit, uh, yep. massive hit. Then you went to the, the States on, on yep. the back of that. Was it hard trying to get work being the warrior princess? I don't know. I, I had gone to the trouble of having a couple more babies, so I was awfully busy being a mother as well. But... Um, I went off and did Battlestar and, and all, got to do really cool things, Kid Enthusiasm, Flight of the Concords. That was really awesome to be, you know, part of that. Um, so I mustn't grumble. I don't know if it was hard. You did, because you have done a huge amount of stuff. And can we talk about Battlestar Galactica? Because it was my, I think it's the best show to come out of America in years. Or Canada. Mm. Or did it come out of Canada, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And you got to be, uh, you were number six, is that right? I was number six, Deanna, I, um... Uh, what was I? Cylon. Cylon. Yeah. yeah. Now there, lot. There was, skin job. There was a lot of skin job. <laughs> there was a lot of secrecy surrounding that whole show when it was coming out. Was it like that to shoot? Were they being quite secretive about it? Um, yes, I think they probably were. And, you know, it's just not... I, I tend not to blog about what's going on in my, you know, my job anyway. I don't Twitter all that stuff. You do, don't you? I Twitter. You're, no, you're a mad Twitterer. I don't have a Twitter account. Jack has a Twitter account. I don't have a Twitter account. Do you not Twitter? No. I don't, I've never even been on Facebook. Just for the record. You have. I'm, you're my friend on Facebook. <laughs> no, some other comic was being me oh on being God, your I friend. Identity theft. And I'm going I'm to stop sending them all of that I've private never, messages. I've never been on MySpace, any of that stuff. All right. Uh, now, currently you're working on Spartacus. Yes. This I, been... I listened to that lady saying, my year without sex. Honestly, filming sex scenes. You totally do nothing but sex scenes. No, no, there's lots of stuff without sex scenes. Come on. And, um... And I also want to say there is no skin-on-skin -skin contact when you do those things. It's all very sort of safe and, you know, there's nothing. But it was <laughs> stressful all the same. I freaked out the first time I had to do one. Because well, I've, I've, I'm obviously not in Spartacus because I clearly don't have the body for it. But um, <laughs> they, 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 all, of, all that I've heard about it is it's the raunchiest TV show ever made. I don't know. The, the fact is that the ancient Romans had some pretty, what we would consider very wild practices, you know, and um, it's just part, it's part of the fabric of their society that you have slaves standing around with no clothes on or next to no clothes on. And, and everybody's gotten so jaded, like you can be standing there and your breast has popped out of your dress and you're having a conversation with a grip. And the grip's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee, see you later. And you look down and go, oh, oh, oh my goodness. There's, even the grips don't bother looking at your bosoms. Yeah, they're, so, they're so bored with it all. All right, fair enough. We've got some viewer questions that I'm going to fire through for you here. Uh, what was it like to work for Charlie Sheen? 
uh, split up with his wife the next week. Really? Because that yeah, could lead to the next question. I don't think it's my question. fault. But what was so it like making David. out with Charlie Sheen? <laughs> did I make out with Charlie Sheen? Apparently you did. On that show? According to uh, According to Murta. Oh, it was really memorable. <laughs> It must have been for him if he broke up with his wife the next wife. day. Same with Larry David. Broke really? up with his, well, I don't know. You just hear the next week. I think I'm like like death to marriages. The, you're like the yeah. Are you going out with somebody? No, I'm not. Well, maybe maybe I'll, turn, maybe I'll go out with somebody next week. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what was it, what's it like to be... What was that? Doubt right. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> uh, what's it like to be New Zealand's sexiest toaster? Oh, the, the Cylon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from yeah, I, I think I think um, there's not, not a lot of competition out there. So uh, yeah, all right. we have uh, we have no other toasters here. And Jared wants to know who came up with the famous scene of Battle Cry. Was that you? No, my husband. Well, the man who became my husband said, "I want something like a Tarzan cry." And I was like, hmm, that sounds stupid. And he said, no, you need a, like a signature sound. A signature yell. And there were these women on television, and they were doing, they were Arabic women at, you know, protesting the death of um, their sons or whatever. And they were doing that Arabic thing where their tongues go from side to side, and I couldn't do it, so I just bastardized it <laughs> and made it my own. Excellent. Lucy Lawless, thank you very much for joining us on the show this morning. What, what are, you, are, you gonna go, are you shooting today? Sex scene today? Uh, no sex scenes today, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are very quick. Turn off the lights, everybody. <laughs> All right. We'll get we'll, this done. We'll get into that. Before we get to the news, though, some suggestions for eating your pet. Uh, have you heard about this? this is, yeah, it's yeah, the new thing. It's it. the new craze. Do you have a veggie patch? Yeah. Would you, what about a miniature edible pet area? I can. No, when I'm done with my pet and they're like, <laughs> I'll put them in the veggie garden. Fertilizer. Recycle. All right.